wants to live up my vote. I have teacher said to me, and I clearly remember what happened in that journey. Would you please tell us what happened? The teacher asked. Okay, teacher, it happened why I was in class six. On a weekly bazaar day, people were coming back with their shopping bags and baskets in hands on shoulders and heads. They had to cross the river. It was not a big river. There was a very good plan for the river. The boat could cross it in eight to ten minutes. It was just after sunset. The weather was getting worse. The wind started blowing from the Black clouds were moving fast in the sky. Everybody was trying to get into the boat. No more, no more, please wait, shouted the boatman, but nobody listened to him. What happened then, Jimmy asked Ruby. With too many people on board, the boat sank in the middle of the river, replied Jimmy. Who know what happened then? asked the teacher. Was not a fatal accident. All the passengers swam to the other side, but some of them lost their things, such as oil, salt, and milk, said to me. Were you on the boat? asked the teacher. And the teacher, seeing the boat openly uttered, I waited for the next time, replied to me. You've done the right thing. Listen to are we too many? The next day when the teacher came to the task was about to start the lesson, Shanti Guru stood up and said, Teacher, can I ask you a question, please? Go ahead, Shanti, said the teacher. In the last class, we heard the story of Also seen crowds of people at the bus stand, railway station, launch, and steamer cars. It is not uncommon to see people traveling on top of a bus or train and meeting with tragic accidents. My question is are we really too many people in the country? Thank you, Shanti. Please sit down. The teacher then looked round the class and asked, How many of you have the same question in mind? Almost all the hands went up. Okay, the teacher continued. Finding the right answer to this question is very important for us, for our national development. So we will look at this issue with some facts so that we can find out if we are really too many or not. Lesson 3. Our food and shelter. The class comes up with different problems. One group leader says, 
brings us to the story of keeping. In brief, the story is like this. The year before the loss, Vicky, a 14-year-old girl, had been in class by the interview of school. and students of the school. Also the school of managing the Distances are shortened by speedy transport. 
speak all the languages. So you even come up with language that you can use with more or less all the people in the world. English is that common language. You can talk to a Chinese toy maker, a French artist, an Arab ambassador, or a Korean builder in one language, English. English for us in Bangladesh is all the more important. As we have seen earlier, we have too many people in a small country. So if you learn English, you have the best opportunity to find a good job both within and outside the country. And this is good news for millions of our unemployed youths. But miss English for 12 or 14 years, yet we do not find good jobs, says Ruby. She then tells the class about what happened to her brother. Could you please tell us why, Ruby asks. This is a very important question, Ruby. We should learn how to use English both orally and in writing for doing things as needed in our work, such as with others at personal, social, national, and international levels. But unfortunately, at the moment, we are learning English mainly for our exams, continues Ms. Jokri. Remember, English can greatly help you become skilled workforce. But where and how can we learn this kind of English myths? 